welcome back Design Squad and in this Design Tool Tuesday session I'm going to share with you a tool, a recent discovery which I think is going to transform the way you could run your facilitation workshops, UX workshops, journey mapping workshops, stakeholder workshops, whatever has to do with these bad boys the post-it notes because when you have so many different ideas you tend to put so many different post-it notes you end up digitizing everything manually and so this app a recent discovery called Brilled app right here is made just for that it's made to point and shoot and digitize your post-it notes automatically and let me show you exactly how you can get started and how it's done if I go straight into the app and you have a few different options to select for as a user, it's all divided into folders. As you can see, I have only one test folder I've been using, but let me create a new one just to show you exactly what would happen if you would decide to, let's say, capture a new workshop inputs and downloads. And let's say it allows you to pick a color, give it a name. So let's say I'm going to call it testing or something along those lines, click done. And that's done and sorted. And next thing I can do is literally just point this bad boy at my post-it notes after a workshop is done. And then I can start capturing all the insights. Let me show you how it's done. And so I have this screen of mine. I have it ready. All I have to do is just click on a camera icon. And as you can see it automatically, it keeps on picking up the different bits and different post-it notes, even if it's away from it. So it's pretty damn impressive, but let me show you exactly what happens when I actually point and shoot. So once you're done with the recording, you're gonna see that a lot of notes are captured and most of them are a bit skewed. Some of them might be cropped as well, depends on the angle. In this case, all of those notes were written to be simply looked at and then thrown out. However, if you start using this app in your team, you kind of need to consider that everything you write or everything you expect your stakeholders to write in those workshops should be easily machine readable. And let me show you some of the examples. I captured only five here. And that's the second round of capture. And if I go click, let's say select, some of them might be dismissed, but I want all of them. So I'm gonna click done, tap done again. And the machine behind the scenes is gonna process them. And as you can see, all of those got processed, but most of the entries are a bit off. So let's say uh, this one, DIT charge design system, it should have been DTT, but you know, as usual, the app just doesn't know that. And my writing was not really perfect. And so it's something to consider there is almost like a, it's a process upgrade as well as a tool upgrade if you actually start using this tool. But the cool bits about this app is that you can also, you know, search those different entries. You're going to see how many tickets I have open and the bits which are, the app is confused about or we don't know what it meant. You can update and as you can see, it suggests natural role click done. Most of them should be correct, but as you can see, some of them way off, which you want to then update, but it's easy. The last bit in the entry list here, what I want to showcase is the speech to type or voice to type. If I hold design sprints, yeah, as you can see, it captured more than I needed, but I can then go ahead and just delete those bits. And so if you work with your team, let's say having retrospectives, post workshop type of reviews, Perhaps that's a way to do it because then you can just go bit by bit, either scan it or you can talk into it and then it's going to be all automatically digitized for you. And to be honest, minus the corrections, spelling and my accent, let's say all of it got captured just within two minutes and I have 50 post-it notes on a wall, which is your typical average workshop anyways. But to proceed, what happens next? You can then, you know, select all those different bits you want. I would select the first five post-it notes and I want to either move it across folders, let's say if your folder is your workshop, or maybe you want to export it because it was a sprint planning meeting right now. And you just had with your developers and stakeholders talking through all the features and how exactly they're going to be developed and your design team, then perhaps you can push all those bits in plain text, Excel sheet, CSV file. So it's a table can push it in Trello if that's what you're using for your project management and keeping your team in check, be it design team, be it, you know, product or tech team, and then also exporting it to Jira. So let's say if you're a bit bigger company and you're tracking tickets uh, in agile way using Jira, let's say Kanban or Scrum way, 
you can then literally just export it quickly by tapping that option and then all those notes with the statuses are actually going to be uploaded and then you can manage it from there so it allows not just designers not just facilitators not just design thinkers to then take over and upload their ideas their post-it notes directly into all the other services and there are quite a few integrations and as you just saw done and so as per usual i hope this was useful uh, you can go check it out on brill.app, go play, test it out, use it in your design process. You can also shortlist for an Android app, which should come out later this year. So show the interest, give them feedback. It's a free app and I think I'm going to start using it more often because I run so many workshops and this is going to save me time and I don't have to delegate those tasks to my junior designers, let's say, to digitize all the notes and spend their valuable time. Give it a go. Give this video a like if you like it, if it was useful, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below if you have any other tools you want me to review and as per usual, I'll see you next time.